is such an amazing gift. My heart is full of joy. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. I'm gonna say it. Nottingham Forest is an amazing bar. So they just give us two types of menus. This is the normal menu and it's pretty fat. There's a lot of pages and a lot of cocktails. A lot of descriptions especially. And then the second menu, the smaller one, is for the recommended cocktails. So I think we are going to pick something from here, but I'm definitely gonna see some of this crazy stuff in here. I cannot make sense of this menu. It's too much. It's too big. There were like anacolic drinks in the middle and now it's like something else again. And there's like, for each one there's a, like here, there's like a huge description. I mean, and there's like no no pictures that tell you a lot of stuff, so you kind of have to just blindly try something. Something very interesting about this place is the bar itself. The bar comes from New York. Apparently, the martini cocktail was invented on this bar, but then from New York was transported to Milan and installed inside of this place. So in total Italian style, we got a, a little bit of a snack to go with our cocktails, something complimentary salty. snack. Something so usually olives and something salty. Pretty nice. Okay, so basically what just happened is that the waiter came to us and we weren't ready at all. So he was like, it's simple, just tell me what you want. And we told him about like the parameters that we wanted, like and he just said I have to solve a mission impossible. Just like Lupin 3 times Skyfall 007 times Friday the 13th equals what? It's probably 3 times 7 times 13. So he just presented me this and now based on my calculations I have to put this in which was 273 273 this is the glass there's a little pistol in it I have to add the powder then I have to add the liquid part I even have a little spoon stir it and then withdraw to drink it okay take out this so he said first add the powder inside of here there's some kind of like a tea bag and ice And I'm supposed to stir it with this little <laughs> would have been cute if they would just put some liquid inside and then I could just spray it in. But it's just decoration. So I just asked for a short drink. He asked me if a long drink or a short one. I said short and fruity. So let's try this out. Smoke is always gone. Yeah, we don't know much about it actually. 
It's kind of a surprise. I think it's like a Mission Impossible is the name. It's definitely fruity. Some sort of maybe like a passion fruit, mango. Because I put some powder in it, it reminds me of this powder that you mix with the water as children to make yourself like a little lemonade. Actually, it tastes a little bit like lemonade too. I don't taste the alcohol at all. Wouldn't know what's inside. But yeah, it's just it's a fruity experience. It's nothing like mind blowing, but it's a good cocktail. It was a funny experience to mix it all. So yeah. I'm not blown away, but it's tasty. On the other end, I asked him for a challenge, which is a little bit of a reinterpretation, however they want, of my favorite cocktail, the Old Fashioned. So I'm quite curious to see how they will surprise me. And this is the cocktail that they brought for me. This is a reinterpretation of Old Fashioned. Basically, the only difference is the, the bitter that they use is a bergamot bitter, but I think, from what they told me, should not have many uh, differences. So I'm uh, not so impressed, but maybe the taste will make me change my mind. It's definitely surprising. It's very strong, but very well balanced, actually. I'm, I'm not disappointed. I'm not disappointed. I was expecting a little bit more, more flair, but it's a strong cup. This is probably just a maraschino cherry. I will just try to add it. It doesn't really fit. You just have to eat it. I just have to eat it. That's right. Mm. <laughs> wow. Okay. That's different. That's different. <laughs> that surprised me. That impressed me. Was something inside the cherry? Or? I didn't think so. No, it was just it was just a maraschino cherry, but. The bergamot somehow the the, 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 the sourness and the, the bitterness fused together in such a beautiful way. It's actually, <laughs> I, I got a little bit blown away. Impressive. Okay. Yeah. I want to try this too. I want to try this too. Let's see if Let's I can see. if I can understand which fruit is inside of it. Yeah, because I'm not really sure which one it is. Mm. There is for sure some ginger. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I already messed up with that. Didn't I think really orange, know. probably. <laughs> some citrus, anyway. Your taste buds are way better than mine. Maybe, maybe pineapple? The master at work. Huh? The master at work. I don't know. I'm just guessing. <laughs> <laughs> you seem very convincing. Oh, it's definitely good. Yeah, yeah like now that you say it, I definitely taste it today. It's right. You because don't feel the alcohol at all. It's very yeah. nice balance. Drainers too. Wow. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, without without the maraschino cherry is another thing. <laughs> Well, but still, the bergamot that you mentioned, I mean, it makes it a whole different experience because normally I'm not such a fan of, of old-fashioned, but, you know, because of the bitterness, I'm more of a fruity, sweet kind of girl. But this is like, because of this kind of tea-ish, you know. Oh yeah, I forgot to say it, but 
I am a big fan of Earl Grey tea. I drink Earl Grey tea every single morning, so I love bergamot. Maybe that's why I'm a little bit biased with this cocktail. They did not know it when they prepared it for me, and in fact, they got it spot on. Spot on on my taste buds. It's literally smelling like perfume or something. It's like, it reminds me of some kind of soap or like perfume that you know from like. Um, I don't know, aromatherapy or something. Only smelling is a really great experience. Make things better. Yeah, but when you were coming. So the interior is also definitely something else. There's a lot going on, there's a lot of mystical, mysterious stuff hanging on the walls. It's like sometimes I get a little bit of. Um, Alice in Wonderland feeling, but then again, it's like way more dark and almost creepy. Like they have masks and skulls of animals, but then also like plants. It feels like a jungle feeling with with old artifacts and old pictures of people hanging around. It's definitely a little bit of of a dark, enchanting vibe, and, but it's it's very nice with all the chatter. It feels very comfortable. We're on these little armchairs here. They're very comfortable, so definitely some kind of a weird old living room feeling but kind of playful like kind of matches with the cocktails so we just ordered a second round it's a cocktail for two it's called amore yeah i'll go so perfect couple cocktail we have to try it so let's see so the cocktail arrived this is the filtro d'amore filter of love it's in this kind of viking's horn this bar kind of known for their different vessels that they put the cocktails in and let's try it let's try at the same time <laughs> this love cocktail it's very cherry you don't just, seem convinced. Yeah, it's just that it's not telling me anything. It's kind of bland. Yeah. I was so impressed by the last one, completely random cocktail that I asked as a challenge. Please, do me an old-fashioned your way. And this one, it's a little bit of a letdown. I mean, it's not a bad cocktail at all. It's amazing, but still. Yeah, it's not as special as I thought. It kind of tastes to me like a cocktail that would make you drunk. Like, it tastes very strong. Maybe that's where the bitterness for me comes from. But I just, I'm missing the love theme here. Like, it really reminds me of something more rustic. Just another team theme than love. It's like, it doesn't give me anything like kind of cringy, lovey dovey that I was expecting. So I'm a little bit disappointed by the decor. So, this is the full shape. Oh, it feels very, you know, nice and high quality. The glass is definitely something else. Mm -hmm. So, the problem of this thing, as you can see, the straws don't reach the end, so we are not sure if we already drank it all or if there is something left. And now I'm gonna remove the straws and try to drink it. Drink like a lichen. Looks like it's your nose. The answer is no, nothing left. I'm sorry. So, behind the bar right now, preparing our cocktails, there is Dario Cumino. He is a legend of the mixology world. He is one of the pioneers of what is mixology today. So, I am trying to go and shake his hand. And, you know, but we will see. Grazie. Come grandi chef. Grazie mille. Grazie. È stato bellissimo qua. Insieme io lui. Sì, sì. So I just shake hand with Comini, one of the greatest bartenders in the world, and I got from him this present. I'm gonna open it with you right now. Unboxing live. Unboxing. It's a little pin of the Nottingham Forest Aww. that I'm proudly going to wear. Oh my this God. is such an amazing gift. My heart is full of joy. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it.
I'm gonna say it, Nottingham Forest is an amazing bar. <laughs> Come here and try all the amazing drinks they have. It's a wonderful place. <laughs> <laughs> 